Hey guys, welcome to another Monday morning video with the star. Look at, we're here no, together. No, that's what her name means, actually. Is that right? Yeah. Stella means star. I didn't know it. That was just a good gift. You're going to love it. Uh -huh. So I'm here, as you can tell, with Stella, <laughs> Rosella, Stephanie. We're chatting about, actually, we were talking earlier about seasonality changes in the mortgage industry as well as the home industry. And there's some differences going on. So we thought we'd continue our chat on video and talk to you all. In fact, seasonal changes just happen literally at the change of a season. We're not talking about summer to fall either, necessarily. I well, mean, it is kind of, but also seasonal because we're all going back to school, all the families. So school is a season, true, yeah, and that mm -hmm. impacts things. In what way? Well, not just little kids either. We have the colleges here, which yeah. impacts a huge part of our industry. Everybody, everything kind of slows back down, mm -hmm. but because it slows back down, buyers come back around because they now have the time to start their shopping back up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And a lot of um, our territory in general in the summertime, like you kind of see it slow down because a lot of families very much so prioritize um, all the adventures that you know, outdoors, the, yeah. the area has to offer, which we've talked about before in previous videos. So this is when people are like, oh, I have so much more free time on my hands. Let's focus on trying to buy a house, mm -hmm. which also makes sense because, well, in your world, what's happening over there? Well, you know, we get the benefit of lower rates right now is what's happening. So we see things picking up a little bit. Actually, refinances have increased oh. significantly. I saw a national I'm thing. shocked by that Refinances. One. Yeah, I'm sure because okay. rates are down. One of my yeah, clients called me the other day and said, I just got 48 phone calls from people and I want to deal with you. Can we do a refinance? I said, Absolutely. And it's going to save him 500 and some dollars a month. Can I ask another question? Yeah. Absolutely. So if they're doing a refinance, is it for the benefit of the rate okay, that no. has dropped down? Or is it because they have enough equity to extend it out to reduce their payment and then potentially pull up cash? What are you seeing a lot of? Good question. Um, two things. Rate reductions, which equal payment reductions, mm -hmm. is a big mm -hmm. one. But debt consolidation is the other one. Because we're, as I've said in previous videos, credit card debt ballooned over the last couple, three years. Very yeah, expensive yeah. debt. So we look at what we call the blended household rate. You've seen, heard us talk about that. And sometimes it just makes sense to convert that higher interest credit card debt into mm -hmm. lower interest mortgage debt and stretch it out over that 30 year period. Huh. And then what we talk about, of course, is you say five, six, eight hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with those savings? You can put those right back in the mortgage and be a shorter term than you started. So awesome. they're utilizing the equity to pay off the credit card debt, wrapping it all into their mortgage and saving money. Yep. So that tells me then Sounds like a good idea. that prices are still, in my opinion, then um, holding. Yep, I would say prices have not moved. <laughs> We're seeing values held on our appraisals. Yeah, they okay. haven't gone up any either, and they haven't really come down. They've kind of maintained that same, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing at least. Okay. Which I think that's probably a good thing um, and probably gives a little bit of peace to those who may have bought in the last few years. Like you didn't make a bad purchase. You still made a really good investment. You're just not mm -hmm. increasing your, you know, um, equity investment as quickly as some of the others that were a few years ahead of you, but you still are holding a good investment in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. You're the solution to real estate problems is hang in there. Yes. It really <laughs> hang is. In there. That's the solution. Yeah, it really is. Property investors, we've dealt with a lot of investors that buy a property for appreciation and for cash flow. And the one single mantra they all say is if I only would have held on to that real estate I bought 30 years ago, I'd be a millionaire so now. True. Yeah. I just saw this clip the other day, actually, I don't remember which platform it was on, but it was so funny because the this couple, they had bought their house um, for like pennies on the dollar. And they went to an open house in the neighborhood and they were an elderly couple, probably, I don't know, I'd say close in their 80s. And they bought their house like in like the 10,000 range. -ish. Oh my goodness. And then when, <laughs> when they went to go to this open house, it was over 1.2 million and both of them just started chuckling, laughing. Like he, he, he they realized they were sitting on a gold mine themselves with their As holding game. Yeah. I pulled title on a home the other day and the county title record said that my clients had pen, paid $10 oh, yeah, that's and, right. and valuable goods for their property. <laughs> $10 is what it was more, the deed had on there for what they paid. I was like, oh my Lord. <laughs> Deeds will say that sometimes for you. <laughs> well, <laughs> but still, that's <laughs> also a good sign that's of like cool. holding on to things. Yeah. Going yeah, back to things, picking up. They are kind of picking up. Kids went back to school or starting to go back to school with Labor Day weekend. Yep. And so between our industry of seasons and rates coming down between you, we do expect fall time to be a good time. And 
it's showing. Everything. We're going to pick up a little bit. You've been picking up? We've been That's picking up? That's been picking up for us. We're seeing that, yeah. In, in, okay. in we're licensed in multiple states, and so it's kind of a cross-section there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good to know. Perfect. We like to hear these things. Yeah. Especially with the buyers that we have that have been kind of waiting, um, and actually even some that I know specifically were literally waiting for September, so those mm -hmm. of our friends and clients that want to do stuff, reach out to us because now's a good time. Yeah, it's kind of a validation we've been saying for the last few months. Rates are going to come down. Mm -hmm. When that happens, people are going to hop off the fence, start making offers on homes. Yep. Prices are probably going to increase. Life is still going to happen. Life happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, things, things expand, things shrink, you know, yep. all That's things. Right. <laughs> so everything's going to be a move up buyer before you know it. <laughs> well, got you. Happy Labor Day. Yes. And thanks we, for doing it live with yeah, us today. Yeah, it's everything. been enjoyable. It's beautiful over here in Spokane, guys. I would look at property over here for that reason alone. Land buyers. Last week, that was the heaviest thing we had last week was land buyers. And boy, was it fun. <laughs> got to go good. hike some properties. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. Thanks. See, See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.